Uh, Operation RV back here again with another video. Welcome back, guys. You know, it's been a little bit since I uh, had any updates here, so I thought today would be a perfect day to go ahead and <clears throat> give you guys the next update on what's been uh, done currently. All our new progress here. Uh, so what we have here is um, something that I built out of reclaimed wood. Um, during the, the demo process, I had thrown everything in separate every areas of um, the property. Well, I went scavenging, of course, a few days ago just to kind of see what's out there and what can still be used. Because a lot of this wood is old. It could just still be used like this here. Um, yes, that is a uh, propane tank down inside there uh, to give an example on what uh, this unit will actually be storing and so the idea behind it is a man cave um, it's not going to have I guess you'd call a, a gas hot water heater or an electric um, stove or range what it is going to have is an electric uh, small fi five gallon maybe water heater but essentially in the kitchen uh, it's going to have a gas or in this case propane uh, gas range might do an oven haven't quite uh, decided that I know for sure I'm going to have a gas range and I'm going to try to put a four burner in there but uh, I did build this with the leftover wood I had some leftover uh, galvanized steel uh, for putting on the the roof over there in the bathroom uh, kitchen area but I don't have hinges yet I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the back I don't have hinges on this yet but there will be hinges here because uh, what this will allow me to do is just to flip up the the roof and pull out the propane tank and uh, switch out you know for another bottle uh, but the design, uh, pretty, I guess, common, I guess you would call it, just a little bit better, uh, bigger than the bottle itself. Um, and it will take a taller um, propane tank. So what I will do, let me come around to the back side here, is be drilling a little port here, because essentially that's where the hose Will actually go through so this back side I'm gonna walk over there now this back side of this propane storage holder will be mounted against the side of the man cave where the kitchen area is so let's go ahead and walk over there real quick <clears throat> alright so we started clearing some stuff out around the uh, the base area of the unit trying to get all this clear but this is the kitchen window and I'm gonna get a couple bricks to keep it elevated I uh, will have it mounted against the wall but essentially it will seat there and so you come over here to the actual window and that corner right here will be the, the fridge and this wall along here will be the actual range so my idea is to have it mounted here I will have a hole drilled through uh, the cabinetry area where the propane hose will go to the actual range. I wanted to keep the uh, propane bottle outside of the home just because we don't need any issues if one of those did arise. And if I'm not mistaken, some of these hoses, if not ranges, have the uh, emergency shutoff if there is a leak, you know. Uh, unexpectedly so I'll be looking further into that but that is it down there and she's gonna go right here so I went ahead and started working on that and uh, like I mentioned just previously we started clearing around all the bases I want to get all the dirt away from the bottom of the floor because what I will be installing is a six inch uh, flash sheeting or splash sheeting I guess is what you call it all the way around the unit just to keep uh, water and stuff like that from splashing up against it during rain 
and still smoldering a little bit. That's got to go to the dump, of course, old AC unit. But yeah, I remember the huge piles I had back here. That's what I've been doing for the past few days is we got her all fired up and incinerated. Yay. So next on this is getting all this area cleared out, getting all this debris swept up and throw away what wasn't able to be uh, burned. This is all the bushes. This is more bushes. Chicken coop stuff and more debris. This was pretty much all debris. Uh, remember this whole pile that was here, that's all gone. So slowly coming along, uh, that's going to be the next task that we have is uh, cleaning up the grounds area uh, because we will be doing the outside siding. So I want this to be as easy as pie to get this installed. Don't want any of these obstacles or anything in the way. I was able to save some of the old sheeting. This was the outside stuff. Some of these are still pretty good. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is change hands here. Right up here on these eaves where the fascia and soffit is, I'm thinking of uh, using this stuff, ripping it down. I think it's 15 inches by 6, if I'm not mistaken and getting those sealed in so that's why I kept these because these were the best ones from this pile before I started burning everything so I kept those just in case because it might be able to be reusable if not um, I'll just go ahead and start cutting these out once I get uh, the siding installed well ladies and gentlemen I appreciate you guys tuning back in to my part 8 and uh, a little bit of progress, not a lot. Uh, but yeah, that is it, guys. Again, um, you guys continue to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, God bless, and see you next time. Peace.